Okay, nothing too fancy here. Um, just wanted to show you the five minute candle uh, chart. Well, this is a one day with five minute candles from today, which is uh, Wednesday of NVIDIA and VDA. We had this on watch as a buy if it got to 1973. You can see this first five minute candle opened at 1977, so that's a gap above the play. So then we switch it to our uh, potential as a play to, as a potential gap play, uh, which is a break of the five minute high. But uh, always remember, you watch the range of that first five minute candle because we're going to buy the break of the high and we're going to put a stop uh, right below the low. So if you look here, the high was 1979, the low 1951. So that means our trigger be 1980 and our stop at 1950. That's 30 cents. That's um, not bad risk at all. And you can adjust it if that's too much. Say on a thousand shares, you don't want to lose three hundred dollars. You can uh, take five hundred shares. You can adjust your position size. We just don't want a um, seventy or eighty cent first five minute candle because we're not going to touch that. But uh, Nvidia fell w fell within our guidelines. Um, so there you go, the trigger uh, 1980, and you can see really within about an hour, I think, it hit 2066 for a very nice gain, and really held most of the gains throughout the day. So. There's just a good example of uh, switching a regular play to a gap play if it gaps above, and our main focus has got to be that first five-minute candle, or I should say the first the range from the um, from the high of the day until it breaks its five-minute high. In other words, if it had gone down a couple more candles, but still stayed within 30 cents or so, and then come back up to here, we'd still buy the break of that early high. By range, we mean the range the high of the day. To between the low of the day and the high of the day until it uh, breaks. It doesn't necessarily always have to be the five minute candle. Um, it could be a couple more candles in there that went lower as long as the entire range from low of the day to the high of the day is reasonable. So anyway, NVIDIA fell within that. And one other one we had was uh, MRVL. We called that at a, as a buy today if it got to 1188. Now this one was a little different because it opened at 1180 and went straight to 1206 in the first five minutes um, and as you know if it triggers in the first five minutes we usually pass on or we do pass on the trade um, we do say you can buy it but trade smaller but it, it's just too crazy in that first five minutes I, I shy away from those entries but uh, we still felt like since 12 on the daily chart here we had 12 line right here as its resistance so we felt like a breakthrough 12 might get some follow through today so we played this as a gap play as well um, after the first five minute candle 1206 now what's the low of that one 1180 so that's uh, 27 with an entry at 1207 and a stop at 79 that's yeah uh, about 30 cents right 89 99 oh, yeah about 30 cents um, that's at the high end of the range uh, again but you can adjust your position size uh, and it wouldn't be at the higher than the range for a uh, thirty or forty dollar stock, but on a twelve dollar stock, uh, thirty cents is a fairly big range to buy the break of that high with the stop at the low. Um, but again, you can adjust your position size, especially in, in a case like MRVL, when you, you knew twelve was a potential breakout. Um, so there you go. We uh, we bought it today at twelve oh seven, and it not huge, but it ended up going all the way to uh, twelve forty nine. Still a real nice trade today, um, and this was a stock that you could have bought as really as much as you wanted because if you if you notice it, 26 million shares traded hands today, um, and now the daily looks good too because look at that volume, it's got really air above. The exception is 13 pivot here at 13.03, so um, still looks good, which is probably why it closed strong. Anyway, wanted to highlight those two trades from today and show you how you can take a uh, stock that triggers in the first five minutes. Um, and play it as a gap play depending on the circumstances and also like Nvidia here a stock that gaps slightly above our trigger and remember the key on these is that first five minute range or the uh, the range from the high of the day to the low of the day until it triggers you want that to be fairly fairly narrow to give you an intelligent uh, stop after you enter and then again you can adjust your position size accordingly